What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is Android P on the Google Pixel 2 XL. And I'm gonna show you the new gesture-based uh, UI for this phone and what's coming to Android. Now you can uh, keep it on or off and I'll show you that I'm on Android P and where to toggle it on and off. So first what you wanna do is go down from the top. You can see this is all colored now where it was uh, not before if I remember correctly. Hit the settings there and then go down until you see system. And now you're gonna see gestures. And where it says swipe up on home button, click that. And it tells you right here. It says uh, to switch apps, swipe up on the home button. Swipe up again to see all apps. Works from any screen. You'll no longer have an overview button on the bottom right of your screen. So you can see I already have it active and turned on. So I'm going to hit my home button. All right, so let's run through those gestures on the Google Pixel 2 XL with Android P. Swiping up, you're going to see all the apps that you have open. And if you want to open this app, you can tap on it. You can also swipe down on the app to open it. If you want to close the app, just swipe up. Another cool thing you can do is by pressing to the left or the right with this pill, you can go through your recent apps if you want and then let's let go uh, when you want and it'll open up that app. Also, these apps are live. So if there's text in an app, you can press and hold on it and copy it if you want and share it. If you swipe up one more time, you'll bring up your app drawer, which is easy to access. Um, you'll have at the top there, you have some apps that the AI thinks that you're going to use. Below that, it'll show you some contacts that you can interact with, have, them, have it be via text or phone call. If you swipe back down, it brings you to your recent apps again. And uh, yeah, close them, swipe up, swipe down to open, or you can also tap on it, like I said. Left and right's gonna bring you to the most recent apps uh, to cycle through them if you need to. The two things that do turn me off about this is that I don't see a way to fully close uh, the apps, which I think really sucks. There's no recent, you know, close all apps at once thing. I'm assuming they'll add that, but we'll have to wait and see. The other thing is, is I don't, I can't figure out how to multitask on here. You know, you can press and hold an app and that doesn't do anything. Or, you know, you can press and hold uh, this little icon here and that doesn't do anything. I can't figure out how you would uh, run two apps at once on here. So if you know that, leave it down below. And that's you know pretty much it with Android P gestures. You know, you don't have a back button or a recent apps at the button at, at the bottom there. It's just that pill that's gonna basically do everything, but you still have the back button. You can see it's right there. You can press it and it'll go back. Or if you're inside of an app, you can press it and it'll go back as well. You can just hit the home button to do the same thing. So it's not that different. It's not gonna be a huge learning curve for people to figure out how to use the phone, but it does give you a, you know, overlook at what to expect when you get Android P. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you down the road. Peace.